Countries can overcome complex challenges to improve levels of peace. But where and how does a government or community begin to make change? Research from the Institute of Economics and Peace shows that countries can build resilience and reduce the chance of violence by investing in positive peace. Using positive peace as a framework, there are two ways countries can begin the process of change. One, by stimulating the whole system and targeting all eight pillars. This kind of system-wide improvement can create the environment for a virtuous cycle of peace building. Each pillar intervention must be practical for the current political dynamic. It must make a substantial impact and must affect the system over the short and long term. Two, by targeting and boosting the weakest positive peace pillar, by developing the right policies and actions, the growth of the weakest pillar will have benefits for the other interconnected pillars, helping them to improve. Positive peace workshops help to take theory and turn it into practice. To help build peace in any country, our workshops bring together key stakeholders at the national and local levels to achieve two main goals. One, the first goal is to test whether the concepts of positive peace are locally relevant. Two, the second is to then identify practical programs or areas in which investments into positive peace can be made on a local level. Peace building and finding common ground between different and sometimes disparate groups is no easy task. Sometimes finding agreement on the basic nature of the problem, let alone finding a solution, can be a challenge. The Positive Peace Workshops focus on the future. We find that looking at specific aspects or pillars of society with a future-oriented lens can bring about a different type of discussion. There are fewer recriminations about the causes of conflicts and past failures. Instead, workshops hone in on practical and achievable opportunities within the current local environment.